and today our lesson is on factors. Now you might remember from an earlier lesson on multiplication that the word factors came up before. For example, when we said 1 times 6 equals 6. Might be time for some new markers. <laughs> 1 and 6 are factors. They're numbers when multiplied together equal our product, which is the 6. But there are also other factors of the number 6. Think about it. What other two numbers, when multiplied together, give you 6? How about 2 times 3? Yep, they also equal 6. And let me show you something. Let's say I was going to divide, um, each, divide 6 by each of these numbers individually. Here's what I mean by this. So let's say I'm going to put 6 under the bar. I'm going to divide it by 1. We know 1 into 6 is 6. Notice there's no remainder left over. Let's try it with another number. How about 2? 2 into 6 is 3. Goes in equally, evenly. There's no remainder left over. What about the number 3? 3 into 6, 3 into 6 is 2. Goes in evenly, no remainder. And what about our 6? 6 into 6 is 1. Again, no remainder. So, we can say that factors are numbers that when you divide it into that number, our product, it divides evenly. There's nothing left over, no remainders. Okay, so these numbers, when multiplied together, equal 6, we call them factors. Let's try it with another number. How about the number 10? So if I have the number 10, what are the factors of 10? Well, it's always good to start with the number 1, because you know 1 times that number, right? 1 times 10 will give us 10. Are there any other numbers that when multiplied together give us 10? How about 2 and 5? Yeah, they also give us 10. Any other numbers when multiplied together give us 10? Hmm, I don't think so. Nothing that will go in equally or evenly. So guess what? 1, 2, 5, and 10. These are the factors of the number 10. Let's give you one last example. Let's use the number 24. So what are the factors of 24? Let's think about it. Well, always start with 1. 1 times 24 gives us 24. What about 2? Does 2 go into 24? Yes, it does. 2 times what is 24? Ah, 2 times 12. So those are also factors. What about 3? Does 3 go into 24? 3 times 8. Yes, it does. 3 times 8 is 24. Can we keep going? Does 4 go into 24? Yes, it does. 4 times 6 is 24. What about 5? Does 5 go into 24? Nope, it doesn't. So guess what? I think we're done. These are all of the factors of 24. Let's write them out for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Can I fit them? 12 and 24. All factors of the number 24. And that's it. Factors are pretty simple. I like them. If you know your multiplication tables, you know factors. That's it. I will see you later. Thanks for coming today. Bye.